good evening friends welcome to my channel is wins so let's start from the main topic first topic for the mains is government imposes curbs on import of laptops and tablets second topic is why is the biological diversity bill facing opposition third is amid row data protection bill tabled fourth endangered himalayan vulture bred in captivity for the first time in india fifth is over 9 lakh trees likely to be axed for great nicobar project three bills passed in the rajya sabha in opposition absence so starting from the first topic that is government imposes curbs on import of laptops tablets let's discuss the union government on thursday restricted all imports of laptops tablets and all in one and small factor personal computers pcs requiring licenses for these products to be brought into the country and sold to consumers it is related with gs paper 3 and taken from the page 1 of the hindu newspaper the new rule the move is expected to particularly impact short term laptop availability from laptop brands that rely on assembly abroad such as dell hp lenovo and apple the notification may entail longer wait times for individual products to be cleared for import and sale in india the said restriction shall not be applicable to imports under the director general of foreign trade said in its notification announcing the curbs indicating that travelers may be free to bring one of these products back with them from overseas without attracting penalties laptops can still be purchased online from overseas the government clarified however when these are imported by individual buyers the import duty and shipping fees may make this an expensive prospect as tax may also have to be paid in the country from where the laptop is purchased electronic goods such as laptops are generally sold at lower price rates than the maximum retail price mrp which allows manufacturers to hike prices on short notice when needed why is the biological diversity bill facing a push this is the second most important topic of today on 1st august the rajya sabha passed the biological diversity amendment bill 2021 amid a walk out by the opposite parties about a week after it was cleared by the lok sabha it is related with gs paper 3 on the uh, page 12 of the hindu newspaper the core concept here is in 1994 countries including india had agreed to a convention on biological diversity that is cbd an international framework agreement similar to the more famous one of one on climate change there were a general agreement on three things that discrimination use of biological resources need to be halted second that sustainable use of these resources third for their medical properties for example needed to be regulated that people and communities helping in protecting and maintaining these resources need to be rewarded for their efforts why the need for amendment over the years several stakeholders like those representing the indian system of medicine the seed sector pharmaceutical and other industries and the research community have pointed out that some of the provisions of the 2002 law restricted that activities and thus needed to be modified in addition countries agreed to the nagoya protocol in 2010 an important international agreement under the cbd that contained an access and benefit sharing mechanism under this mechanism biodiversity rich countries needed to provide access to their biological resources to their to those wanting to use it for research or commercial reasons and the user agencies in turn were mandated to share the benefits of their use with the local communities this access and benefit sharing works at both the domestic and the international level why so contested the bill exempts codified traditional knowledge and the ios industry from 
benefit sharing denying all local communities benefits from accessing biological resources the term codified traditional knowledge lacks a clear definition leading to potential exploitation experts regard this exemption as regressive because of reason why the legislation was enacted in the first place was to ensure fair and equitable sharing of benefits it discriminalizes offenses and proposes monetary penalties instead raising concerns over resource exploitation certain categories of users of biological resources like practitioners of indian systems of medicine have been exempted from making payments toward the access and benefit sharing mechanisms companies registered in india and controlled by indians are now treated as treated as indian companies even if they have foreign equity or partnership thereby reducing the restrictions on them provisions have been included to speed up the approval process in case of use of biological resources in scientific research or for filling of pat patent applications i will draw data protection bill table this is the third topic of means it is related with gs paper 2 on page number 15 of the the hindu newspaper the digital personal data protection bill 2023 was introduced in the lok sabha on thursday nearly 6 years after the supreme court held privacy a fundamental right under the constitution at least three separate iterations of the legislation has been floated in the past with the most recent version being withdrawn from the parliament a year ago ago the provisions the bill requires companies to dig- digital data taken from individuals the former term data fiduciaries and the d- later data principals by clearly mentioning to them what data are being collected and what they are being used for appointing and giving contact information of a data protecting protection officer and giving users the right to delete or modify their personal data it proposes fines ranging from 50 crore to 2 250 crore for companies that fail to protect user data or default on disclosure requirements government resources said these fines can be compounded that is separate fines can be imposed on the same data fiduciary for each violation additional requirements are to be notified later by the union government on what firms will be classified as significant data fiduciaries who will be subject to more stringent requirements such as passing through a data audit and conducting data production impact assessments the provisions these include the day it will come into force the resignation uh, re- sorry the registration of so called consent managers who can represent the interest of data principals and requirements for companies to report data breaches to authorities timelines for er- erasing user data platforms where children above a certain age can sign up without express parental consent and the modalities of audits for significant data fiduciaries the bill is type of section 43a of the information technology act act 2000 that requires companies which mishandle user data to compensate users government sources said this was because compensation is a judicial process while ex gratia payments were at the discretion of the government and that legally compensation would have to be awarded through civil tort law exemptions the bill provides a wide range of exemptions for the state and its instrumentalities for instance personal data can be processed in the interest of sovereignty and integrity of india or security of the state for fulfilling any obligation under law while the law requires firm to disclose to users the identity of other firms to which their data will be entrusted for processing they are explicitly exempted from disclosing sharing of such data in the case of lawful interception of data everybody has the same obligations under the bill and even the government sources told the hindu in response to those concerns adding that exemptions were only in place of for cases such as medical emergencies and disasters related topic is first 
endangered himalayan vulture bred in captivity for the first time in india researchers have recorded the first instance instance of captivity breeding in the himalayan vulture g gyps himalayan sis in india at the assam state zoo guwahati categorized as near threatened on the international union for conservation of nature iucn red list of threatened den species the himalayan vulture is a common winter migrant to indian plains and a resident of the high himalayas over 9 lakh tree likely to be axed for great nicobar project second topic for free the great nicobar project which is likely to come up over 130 square kilometer of pristine forest has been accorded environmental clearance by an expert committee However, this was challenged in the NGT National Green Tribunal, following which it set up an expert committee in April to investigate aspects of the clearance. Third topic is three bills passed in Rajya Sabha in opposition's absence. The Rajya Sabha passed bills such as the Offshore Areas Mineral Development and Regulation Amendment Bill, the Press and Regul Registration of Periodicals Bill, and the Advocates. Amendment Bill on Thursday. Offshore Areas Mineral Development and Regulation Amendment Bill. Coal and Mines Minister Prala Joshi said the auction and mining of coal, minerals, and metals were marred with corruption and scandals under the provisions UPA government. Moving the press and registration of periodicals bill, Union Ministry for Information and Broadcasting Anurag Thakur said the bill is to be replaced and 1867 law brought by the colonial rulers for centralizing powers. Three bills passed in Rajya Sabha in opposition substance. The proposed legislation is based on the spirit of upholding media freedom and ease of doing business by making the entire process of allotment of title and registration of periodicals simple and simultaneous through an online system without the requirement of any physical interface which would be fast tracked by the press registrar which would be fast tracked by the press registrar general thereby ensuring that publishers especially small and medium publishers face little difficulty in starting a periodical arjun ram meghwal moved the amendments to the advocates bill he said the bill is a continuation of the center's policy of repealing all absolute and pre-independent law which have lost their utility. Mains related question says first, how do the new amendments to the biodiversity bill uppercut the biodiversity regime in India? It is a 150. In 150 words, you have to answer. It is a 10 marker question from GS paper 3. So please answer in the comment box. Next question is discuss the provisions of data personal data. Protection Bill 2023. It is a 150 in 150 words. You have to write answer in the comment box. It is a 10 mark question from GS Paper 2. Thank you.